the flea market and the way that it's built has been a problem for a lot of players and a source of an absolute ton of frustration, specifically as it relates to not only the ever-shifting meta of what's in or valuable as an item to sell, but also in the sense of not ever being able to buy items for a lower than average price. For those people relatively new to the flea market, the way it works is an item is placed up for sale and is given a timer of about a minute before the offer becomes active and available to be purchased. This allows for someone that mistakenly put an item up for sale to rescind that offer and allows for potential buyers to prepare their clicking fingers to be the first ones to snatch it up. But herein lies the problem. At no point do the normal regular people that aren't using bots or scripts have an actual opportunity to purchase those lower priced items leaving us to have to buy the marked up stuff, and in a lot of cases, buy that from someone that actually is able to snipe those lower priced goods that put those items up in stacks of 30 or 50 or 75. So how do we, the normal average Joe or Jane Tarkov player, actually get to be able to purchase those lower priced offers? And how is everyone else able to that isn't using scripts? My good friend and content creator, Al Smizzle, one of the self-proclaimed barons of Tarkov and its market, occasionally is able to purchase items with his own two hands, and in a lot of cases, that ends up being Lab's key cards. In his case, he says he gets lucky once in a while just by clicking and hitting the Y key to accept the transaction, but in most cases, he fails. So, why is this? There's a huge combination of factors between desync of the flea market, between clients and the main server, internal computational delays, sheer geographical distance between the client PC and the main server where this data is held, and the list goes on. But the main thing that determines someone's ability to buy an item all boils down to this simple truth. The countdown timer rules over us all, and the closer your timer is to the timer on the flea market's timer, the more likely you are to win an offer. No one is able to buy an item before it actually shows up as active, and they're usually snatched up within moments of being so, but for most of us, those items are sold before the offer ever actually even shows up as active to begin with. Personally, I've seen delays of up to five seconds, where once I refresh the list of items that I'm looking for, the item I had been attempting to buy is gone before it even shows up as having active status. But here's the cool thing. I've figured out how to level the playing field. So a quick disclaimer. I'm not aware of this breaking any type of terms of service or violating BSG's guidelines in any way, and I'm also not currently aware of anyone else in the game that uses this method. This does not modify game files. It does not use any software to manipulate the game. There's no scripts. This is just done with your own two hands. Okay? Okay. This method involves the mechanics of Tarkov's clock, which in this case is the same clock that's on your desktop. In Windows 10, there is an option that automatically syncs your clock with the global time. By right-clicking on the date and time in the lower right, it will bring up a menu. Click Adjust Date Time. In this window, there is a toggle that you want to turn off so that the time is no longer automatically synced. Next, go to your control panel. In the control panel window, click on Date and Time. In this window, click Change Date and Time. You will see a clock that lists the time down to the second. You guys see where I'm going with this? Before the next steps, open Tarkov first. This is because Tarkov's UI syncs to your desktop clock when it opens and resets each time that you open the game. Now this part is tricky, and will take some guesswork on your part and feeling out on your end, but trust me, this, this works. As you are watching the offer timers tick down, go to your clock window and advance the timer by a couple of seconds. For ease of use, I like using 11, 22, 33, 44, etc. because it's quick and easy to enter, and you can easily advance the clock a couple of seconds inside of, say, a second. Then click OK. You should simultaneously see the market timers advance by that same amount of seconds. Then try to buy something that comes up with click spam. One of three things in this moment will happen. One, you will win the auction. You got the timing right. Good job. Two, you will get a message that says the auction was already purchased. This means you haven't advanced the clock far enough. Try advancing in another second or two. Three, you'll get an error 1512. The item isn't available yet. This means that you're ahead of the server's releasing of the item. So, here comes the feeling out part. Tarkov's offer timers are not perfect. Sometimes they'll hang up by two seconds. Sometimes they skip seconds ahead. 
Sometimes the entire market will shift time by a second or two. What was once your dialed-in clock adjustment will become out of whack. You can fiddle with the clock to try and bring it back together. You can spam refresh to try and get the clocks to come back into sync. Or you can restart the game all over and try again. But make sure that you toggle the automatic global time sync on and off to get you back to zero before you open Tarkov back up. Otherwise, if you've been trying this a bunch of different times, your clock could literally end up minutes ahead of the rest of the global time. But anyway, back to the flea market. So if you get an error 1512, try to time your keystrokes out another 100 to 200 MS and try again on the next one. If you still get an error, wait a little longer. If you missed it and the item was sold, try to make the next one a little earlier, etc. Eventually, you'll get the timing down and you'll start nailing purchases of items consistently. This is the main way that I've been able to do the majority of my market flips. But again, there are some bugs that come along with this. With the timer slightly out of sync, it seems to throw things off in the UI a bit to where you stop getting notifications that items that you sold were sold. Slots for items that you're selling will remain used and items that you purchased or cash that you had in your inventory will not adjust to what it was supposed to be, sometimes with an error 228. Most of the inventory glitches that are... Nah, most of the inventory glitches are fixed by simply going into and out of your character pane a couple of times. But if that doesn't work... You can always remedy all of these visual issues by simply just restarting the game, and everything will be where it's supposed to be once you do that. And, okay, I realize that sharing this is getting away from the purity, quote-unquote, of what the game is supposed to be. But here's the thing. We know the market right now is messy and it has issues, especially from people that are scripting. And I figure if those guys are going to cheat, why not manipulate very simple mechanics to beat those guys with their own two hands and just some good timing. To me, this isn't cheating at all. This is merely correcting and using eyeballs to sync the flea market's true timer with your PC's timer and actually win items for a change. For now, this absolutely works. My hope is that BSG will figure out methods for us that will allow us to purchase items on the flea market in a way that truly syncs everyone's clients to the server's main clock without having to do all of these little workarounds. But for now... We have this. Thank you guys for checking this out. I hope this helps you. And hey, maybe come check out my awful content on Twitch sometime. I stream every day from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern for at least six hours and sometimes marathon stuff for like 18 hours. Um, I love meeting new people, so come on by. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.